everybody, it's Doug here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a playthrough, little playthrough series. Just going to be a couple of games, actually. It uh, won't be a long one like the last one, but I, I will be getting into a long one soon of this one, Marvel United. Now, why am I going back to Marvel United? Well, because they've had a bunch of stuff come out with their new, um, the new uh, campaign of the, sec the next wave of it that had just uh, come out for all of us to play. And so I thought I'd dive into some of that. Now, I I'm going to take a little step back because I wanted to kind of familiarize myself with a couple of new mechanics and, and the Fantastic Four so I can show you some of the new content that is out for uh, Marvel United. And um, this is part of the multiverse stuff that I want to show, but what you're seeing today right here on the table is not part of that yet, except for one thing, which I'll show in a moment. This is, I'm going to do the first round, it's going to be the Fantastic Four versus Doctor Doom, that makes a lot of sense, right? And we're using the, uh, the Fantastic Four setting right here but then I want to take that this is we're going to evolve this series into taking on um, something bigger and I'll leave it at that if you, if you know already you know if you don't let it be a surprise I suppose but we are set up for mostly for the game here right now and I want to introduce a couple the, the one new mechanic and then we'll get on to Dr. Doom and how he plays and, and the Fantastic for themselves so the new mechanic that I am using from the uh, multiverse lot stuff is the team's stuff. Now this shows who's in the team for the Fantastic Four and um, it provides a new set of cards for the Fantastic Four that are going to give them some additional abilities. Now to do that though I do have to take out the double wild of all of the heroes. So I think it's that right there. Yep, this has to be removed from the their deck so that we can use the team's deck. And man, while I love that double wild I'm really curious how the team's deck thing is going to play out. Now, also in the Fantastic Four, they're a little different than some of the other characters, though this is becoming very common in a lot of the, the characters now. It's this, this uh, card that goes in your starting hand. We'll cover those in just a moment. And I do have just a little bit of setup to do. I did not put out the threats yet because I wanted to let you know that this threat setup for Doctor Doom is slightly different. Uh, there is no, there's not going to be a uh, threat placed on uh, Latveria. All of the threats for Doctor Doom, there's only five instead of six. A lot of, I saw a lot of people online going, there's only five. Just read the rules. Um, it's clearly stated that there are only five. And the reason for that is because his home turf here, which uh, is always ex always exposed, uh, has, uh, has that happening. Which means that to fulfill our clear threats, we have to fulfill them from the others. But that's fine. There's more than enough to do that with. I think there's the one, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five that you can do that with. You need four. So... Not a crisis in fulfilling that one. And, you know, you don't have to fill that one. You could fill the other two and still take on and crush Dr. Doom. So anyway, I'm shuffling this up real quick. We're going to place them out. Just put them at random. One here. We need one there. I'll turn them over once we get them all out. Uh, here, here, and here. Uh, there, this one's flipped over already for us. Uh, right here in the United States head, uh, Un United Nations headquarter. Uh, auto assembly when adding a Doombot in this and adjacent locations, add an extra one. That's bad, bad, bad. We gotta get rid of that card pretty quickly. Then we have each Doombot in this location uh, requires two damage to defeat. That makes the Doombots tougher. Now there aren't any Doombots out on the board and you see that I have my blinged up uh, components. This is actually one of the blinged up Doombots. They're super cool little guys. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got this from. Anyway, they're from Etsy. I should tell you because they're really neat and if you wanted them, I need to remember where to get them. But everything you see here, this, well, not everything. These little people, these figures, everything came from that blinged up uh, set that I got. All right, um, then we have over here, let's see, we got the, uh, when a Doombot is defeated in this rotation location, they take damage, your heroes take damage because they blow up. Okay, get rid of that card. Probably one of the first ones to go. And this one is, takes two to be defeated. That's not so bad. We can get to that. Um, and then, uh, when it's defeated. So we're going to get rid of this one first because this is another one when they blow up and they're right next to each other. So that would be bad. That could cause a horrible chain reaction and destroy a hero pretty quickly. Okay, next with the, the team cards, we're just going to draw two and they're going to have those available. Just to just give you an idea what they, they do. This is the first one, Fantastic Four. Family Bond. You may perform one action of the same type as the, a token on your Fantastic Four card or search for a teamwork card in your deck and place it at the top and uh, before shuffling um, or after shuffling. So what that means is, and the other one, and by the way, you get a move when you use that. So uh, the other one is going to be family ties. As long as this card is in the timeline display, action tokens 
can't be added to the Fantastic Four card. When this is played the storyline, turn this card face down. I don't, that doesn't seem good. As long as this card is in the team display. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get rid of this. Oh, that's bad. That's terrible. I didn't know any of those cards were bad. I didn't really look through them. Anyway, during the course of the game, there's these uh, teamwork cards for the Fantastic Four that are going to put tokens on this card that allow us to take, when we play a teamwork card, take an extra action. And, and the actions from the tokens on that card allows us to build up a pool. And then at some point, we're going to get to take a pretty significant action. So that's pretty cool. All right, moving on quickly, we're just going to talk about Doctor Doom, and then we're going to get I'm going to get their their decks ready, and we're going to get started. So Doctor Doom, let's uh, take his health off here for just a moment. By the way, in a four player game, he's going to have nine. That's not great. Uh, Doctor Doom setup: a Latveria must be his location. We got that. Don't place threat cards in Latveria. Replace starting thugs in Latveria with Doombots. We have to do that, and. Um, uh, Doombots are treated as thugs for the purposes of blah blah blah. We also need to get these tokens. Here are starting tokens because Dr. Doom's nasty. And then um, his special ability, as long as there are any Doombots in Doom's location, he can't be damaged. Uh, once per turn, a hero may forfeit one action to discard one of their crisis tokens. Great. Um, so we're going to gather crisis tokens. We can forfeit actions to get rid of them. If we have them, terrible things are going to happen. When he bams, he's going to deal one damage to a hero in his location, plus one damage to each hero in a location with a Doom Bot, and then increase this track by two if we ever get to 20, the game's over. Uh, overflow, if a civilian thug or Doom Bot can't be added to a location, increase the Doom track by one. You can see where that's going to go. Okay, so we're going to get those tokens out. We're going to do our thing here, and then I'm going to get their cards. I don't get these, by the way. It's the only way we play Super Villain. I'm not going to do that. I'm just playing regular old... Uh, Dr. Doom. He's pretty nasty, though. Uh, it's not that hard to lose against him if the wrong things happen. So let's get their cards set up. So we know that in, like for Reed Richards, we're going to have this plasticity. This is his starting hand, and it, we're going to draw three more cards for him. As long as this card is face up in the timeline, in the storyline, during your hero turn, you can use one of your heroic or punches, or and or, not both, if you had two, actions in an adjacent location, and it's wild. That's not bad for his additional other cards. Now remember we had to get rid of his double wild to play the, the teams thing, which turned out bad, that's weird. Okay, um, uh, pun a punch and a move, two, oh, that's great. Uh, we know we're Reed Richards starting too, that's awesome. And then uh, wild. Okay, so those are his three starting cards, or his deck hand rather, this is his hand. We'll get started with him in a minute. Let's go on to Sue. Uh, Sue has invisibility. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, when the top card of the Master Plan deck is revealed, you may choose not to take any damage until the beginning of your next turn. If you do, uh, if you do so, the next card you play must be face down. So cool ability, but she, she loses some other functionality at that point. We do have this to go. So let's just quickly shuffle that up and give it a quick draw. So we got uh, uh, a heroic and a punch. We have a uh, two heroics, man, lots of heroics, that's good. We can get some of these done first. And a invisible girl, uh, uh, wild. That seems very much like Reed Richards' hand. That's really bizarre. Oh, I also need to find her double wild in here. There's her double, that's gonna go out. That does, by the way, give them one less card. I wanna point that out. Okay, Human Torch, Pyrogenesis, launches this face up the storyline. Treat, you can treat heroics as punches, and it's a move, and we're gonna First, find his double wild. Get that out of here. There it is. We're gonna give him three more cards. Okay, first one is gonna be a heroic. I mean, lots of heroics. A punch and a move, and one of finally a teamwork. Perform uh, actions of the same type as all action tokens on the Fantastic Four card. There won't be any if this is played first. Add one move token uh, from the pool to the Fantastic Four card. So that's gonna be good. And those are his. Uh, four cards for his starting hand, and uh, of course we got rid of his double wild, and then the thing, we've got the thing as well, the thing, let's see, uh, rock, rocks like skin, this one we got to get out pretty quickly, as long as this card is face up in the storyline, you may ignore one damage from each villain turn, that's pretty good, and it's a punch, and then we got to get his, uh, let me see, where's his double wild, there's his double wild, so that is gone from the, the deck, and we're going to give him a couple other cards. Then we'll get started. i got to replace those Doombots, those um, guys uh, in Latveria with Doombots. But uh, let's do this. Okay, so we get, uh, it's clobbering time. I don't know if this is probably bad for early, but it says, 
two against a single location and a target location, two against an adjacent. And it's a move that's pretty good, but not that useful right now. A couple of punches. He's going to be our hitter, right? Obviously. And a wild, and that is going to be his starting hand. With that, we can just dive right in. Um, let me get rid of these. So these three guys in Latveria are going to go, and they're going to be replaced by three Doom Bots, which I have right here. So we'll get them out on the board. This is one of those games that really uh, enjoys the bling. Uh, I think it looks great with the bling components and all stuff, all the plastic components, which come from Cool Mini or not. I mean, you can get, or wherever, yeah. You can get the plastic components for the game. They, they exist, and they're, they're quite nice. Um, I would get those, and then if you really want to bling it up, you can get the little peoples and stuff like that. Pretty fun. All right, well, let's get started. Of course, the first thing that happens is Dr. Doom goes, and then Reed Richards. We're going to go in order of Reed Richards, Sue, Sue Storm, Invisible Girl, Human Torch, and The Thing. We'll continue with that order. All right, let's uh, shuffle this up real good and draw our first card. Okay, there, shuffled, let's go will not be shuffled any further. So put the deck back there. Let's see what his first thing is. A five, bam, wow. You must surrender, Richards. Each hero chooses either to discard one card from their hand or take a crisis token. Man, that is a really rough start, right? But anyway, let's move him five. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So he lands in London, and then we're gonna do the rest of the stuff. So I think we're right now, I don't wanna get rid of any cards. We're just gonna take, I'll give them each a crisis token. So each of the heroes has a crisis token to deal with now. We, we may have to deal with that very quickly because I think bad things are going to happen. Then we're going to add some civilians. We're going to add a civilian in uh, Latvia. Now, if, if we... <laughs> not, uh, uh, sorry, Latveria. I always say Latvia. Latveria. If the thing about this location is if we land there in the turn and do some stuff, we've got to get out if there's still Doombots there. Otherwise, we take a ton of damage. We take one damage for every thug or doom bot. That's bad. So one there, and then two, we're going to have two more civilians up top. Good. No overflows yet, but already close to an overflow. Oh, I didn't tell you these also have little babies. We're going to put this one out here so we can save it quickly. I don't want to have any babies dying. And then we're going to put this in our timeline up here at the top, and we're good to go. That was Dr. Doom. Oh, the BAM. we got to deal with the BAM, but I don't think that's going to do anything except for move his timeline. Deal one damage to each hero in Doom's location. There aren't any. Plus one damage to each hero in a location with a Doom bot. There aren't any. So this is going to just go up two. Man, that's rough already. We're two out of 20. 10%. Gone. Boom. Just like that. We didn't even do anything yet. Okay. Let's take a start taking our actions. Well, Mr. Reed Richards, who's in Yancey Street having a coffee with Sue. Let's see what you're going to do here. I think we already know. Um, we're going to get rid of... We could play the plasticity out now and just use that as a... Because there's plenty of cards that will allow us to get rid of that self-destruct there. Or we could play the self this right now. But I think we'll save that for another one. Let's get this out on his timeline so that we can use a, a, a heroic or punch in an adjacent space. So that goes out in the timeline. That's the card he played. That's the equivalent of a wild card. So I could use that to get rid of the crisis token, but I'm not. I think at first we're just going to... We might have to suffer some things from the crisis tokens. We'll see. But we're just going to put this out. I don't even remember what the, or know what the Crisis Tokens do. I haven't played against Doctor Doom, and this is my first time playing the Fantastic Four. That's why I want to play this real quick, short session, and get on to some beefier content with the Fantastic Four. You probably know what it is. Okay, with that, we're going to go on to Sue. Now, she's got a wild currently up. So, I think what we're going to do with her is uh, we don't need a punch or anything like that. We could get her a visibility card Get her one step closer to that with the wild, we could complete that out and have this up in the timeline. Seems like the smart thing to do. We're gonna play that. Now that now I don't know when we'll use it. It's very situational. But what we're gonna do is she now has a heroic, so we're gonna spend that here. And a wild, which we'll use as a heroic. We'll spend that here, and we'll immediately clear off the first of our threats. Now remember. Marvel United is not meant to be a long game. About 30 minutes of actual playtime without me talking, and, and I talk a lot. So uh, it, it will be longer in this session, a little bit, but not by that much. And um, it's not meant to be a long game. So this is already off the board. We already got this done. We'll just put these here to show that they're done. And then we get to take this 
and we get to put it up here, clear threats. Now, it's the end of our turn. This is now cleared, so we can get to do this. You may place one heroic token from the pool in this location. This token acts uh, as a permanent extra slot for a civilian or thug. Why not do that? I don't see a point in not doing that. Let's uh, grab a token. Here we go. I'll put this right here. This counts as an extra space for civilians, so it's got less chance of overrunning. means Yancey Street can get crowded. Okay, now we have one more character to go before Dr. Doom gets to go again, and that's going to be the Human Torch. And we don't need him there anymore, do we? So a move would help. And we also want to get rid of the, the other explosion one that's on the other side next to him. There, I could do this Pyrogenesis. He's going to have a Heroic and a move if I use this. And we'll get their cards out early. This is actually not working out too badly. We're going to get this out because this allows him to turn these into these if he needs them. We might need that later with the Doom Bots. So he'll do that. We're going to have him move as part of so his action. Now, his, his ability is triggered now. It's just in the timeline. So for his action, by the way, this is the Human Torches miniature. You don't have to paint it or anything. Uh, he is going to fly and zip over here with that movement and with that heroic. Um, the, that place has the ability, uh, could overrun pretty soon. But I'm debating on if I start just taking this down immediately before it's too late. Uh, yeah, let's let's uh, let's take a little risk. We're going to do that and place a heroic token on there and try to get rid of that quickly. Those two are the worst. We can deal with the rest. They're not that bad. Uh, but those two where the doom bots blow up and do damage to that space and adjacent spaces is bad. Now we're not in any spaces with doom bots, so don't feel too bad about that. But Doctor Doom gets to go again. So he's he's not going to bam. That's amazing. He's just going to move one, two, three. Back, to, back up to Mount Wondegore, where he's going to drop some dudes. So uh, it, that location, and does have space for it, is going to get two Doombots. Let me find two Doombots. So right now this is full. There are two Doombots here. I think we know where the thing will be going. And then on each side of that, he's going to put, place a civilian. So we have another civilian here, which is fine. And we have a, another civilian here, which is fine. And that is going to be his turn. That was a nice, easy turn. Now we're going to go on to the thing after Dr. Doom's first pretty rough turn. The thing has, um, not, and I am a little worried about these crisis tokens, but, you know, it's worth getting these out. Now, I have a move, so I don't need to worry about a move. I could do rock-like skin, get that out, and do a punch. Yeah, here's where we go. Now, um, Doom, Doom bots do require two damage, but thugs don't. So, we're going to take this, as long as this is in the storyline, we could absorb one damage per villain turn. That's good. We're going to place that out. Um, you know what I forgot to do on each one of those was draw a card. Getting ahead of myself. We'll place this. I would have done what I just did anyway, so I'm just going to give them a, a card in their hand. I'll show you what they are. Oh, we're getting our teamwork cards out. Next, this turn would be good. I'm glad I'm doing this now because I messed up. Sorry about that. I'll make a note in the notes. And there, that's that. We got a lot of teamwork cards out now. That's really good in their hands. Got a little too overexcited about getting going and forgot to draw their initial cards. Might have made a difference. I wouldn't have. I would have done the same thing. I'm pretty confident. Okay, where were we? Um, I just placed placed out the thing's card. He's got a move and a a punch, and he's got his rock like scan now. So he's going to move actually where Doctor Doom is because likelihood is Doctor Doom's going to move anyway. He'll go there and he'll punch this thug and give us a, another space there. This thug will go here, and we'll start defeating thugs as well. Um, there we go. Okay, next up is going to be, we're back around now to Reed Richards. Now, we do need to get rid of these crisis tokens. That's not the best thing in the world. I have a punch right now, which is not useful to Reed. I also have his teamwork card, which gives us moves. Well, move is good for him, and he's got a punch, but that's just useless. Hmm. I need to get a move out for him. So, I think we're going to play his teamwork card. Perform actions of the same type of all all action tokens on the Fantastic Four card, then add one to... Now remember, I can't use... As long as this card is in the team display, actions tokens are can't be added to the Fantastic Four card. So I have to get rid of that. Maybe I do that. That burns his turn. That's so bad. I just can't use these teamwork cards until that's gone. Maybe I have Sue do that. I don't know. Um, well, actually, his turn is not proving to be very useful. He's got a punch. So the best I could do is move. I think we're going to get rid of this. I want this gone. This is bad. We're going to get that out in the timeline. Unfortunately, that's going to count as his turn. And oh, oh, and I needed to draw a card, but we're going to have to discard one to do that. Because um, we use that instead. 
this pretty good. Actually, I may need to take that back. I gotta move now. Let's think about this. This is why you have to draw the cards first. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this. I think we're gonna do this instead. This is much more useful. Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna move Reed Richards here. Now remember, he can reach into both spaces, but we're not worried about that right now. We're worried about this. I wanna get rid of this other exploding card. And then he gets, has a punch. Um, he, because of his, what's in his timeline, he can punch at a distance, right? He can. So we're going to use his one-time ability to do this, and we're going to punch this uh, thug out and get him, put him on our, our mission cards. And that will be the end of his turn. Okay, now we're on to Sue. we got one more turn before, he, before Big Guy goes. We can't play... Now, maybe she does the teamwork thing. We're so close to getting that heroic done, though. That one over there, that would be really good to get that done. I got a move and a... Actually, it's still okay because she has a move. Yeah, we're going to play this card now. Let's get this out of here. So we're going to have to discard a card. Let me draw a card for it. Let's see what we get. We're going to have to discard one. And I think it's going to be... Ooh. Ooh. This is the... Might be a wild. That's the worst card in this spot right here. <sighs> this is rough. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to discard a wild. Is that insane? I don't. I don't know. That's... I mean, when you look at what she's got, we got a bunch of heroics. We still have heroic stuff to do, civilians and everything. This is always good, never bad. I got a movement and a, yeah. So, because I'm going to play this out. We're going to play this out, this is for sure, which means I have to discard something. I'm going to discard heroic. It would have amounted to about the same thing. So that is now discarded. Okay, all her heroics are gone. Or not heroic, her wilds. So with that, she's going to move and then we're going to place another token here and complete this. Now I can focus on some of the things because now Doombots aren't going to be blowing up on us. So we're going to take this. We're going to put that here. And then it says draw one card. If, you, if your hero has ever been a member of the Fantastic Four, you may gain one uh, move, heroic, or punch token instead. I think we'll give her a token. I don't, another card isn't... I mean, that's cool. But let's give her a uh, move token, just to get her around the board. We're going to give Sue a move token, and maybe she can use it next turn to get rid of a crisis token, which we have. Now, that's it for the heroes. Now, uh, Dr. Doom is going to get to go again. Let's see what he does. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you all fell into my trap. Okay, he's going to move five, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. He's in the United Nations headquarters. He is going to bam. Nobody's in his location. Uh-oh. Good old uh, Ben is going to take a damage. So remember, deal one damage to a hero in your location, plus one damage to each hero in a location with any Doombots. Okay, so it's not each Doombot, it's any. So he takes no damage. He's going to use his rock-like skin to absorb that damage. He took nothing. Um, and then we're going to increase the track by two. We're already at four. Gosh, man, that seems like it goes super fast, doesn't it? And this is, you all fell into my trap. Increase the Doom track by the number of crisis tokens. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> then each hero... Oh my gosh. Okay, well that's bad. One, two, three, four, we're at eight. And I have to give out a crisis token. Now everybody has two, which means we're going to spend some time using an action to get rid of these tokens. It's maybe two. And then he's going to drop a doom bot in his location, which he can do. Okay. So let me find another doom bot here. And that is going to go right there. Okay. I paid the price for that. Not dealing with those uh, crisis or crisis tokens, didn't I? I mean, we're already at eight. Wow, that is so bad. Wow. Okay. Well, on to the Human Torch. Let's draw his card and see what he's going to do. At least now, oh, i got to draw another one of these two. Family Reunion, you may move all other heroes to your location and get a... Uh, that's pretty good. That could be useful. Not useful at the moment, but useful. Okay. Human Torch is in a place where he can't do... We don't need him for much. You could stay there and get tokens, but why? Discard one from your hand to the bottom of your deck and deal two damage to everything else in your location. Discard all the civilians there. Oh. oh. Let me see. What's he got? He's got a move and a heroic. So if I can get a move, this is a move and... Oh, look what we're going to do. We're going to do something. He's not going to get rid of his crisis tokens, unfortunately. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that in the timeline. Nova Flame. Watch this. One move... Two move, 
Then we're going to we're going to trigger his ability to discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. That's bad, not terrible. It means like taking a damage, deal two damage to everything in your space, and remove all civilians. Okay, it says remove. So that means it's not going to go to our wait. Discard. So it's not going to go to our our civilian rescue, but it is going to go away. Then we still have a punch, but that's going to be useless because of what this does. Okay, so uh, could I have used that on the way? No. All right, well, here's what's going to happen. We're going to discard a card from to the bottom of his hand. I think it's going to be this one. So we'll put that, uh, sorry, bottom of his deck, rather. And then we're going, we blew up, pow, and these guys are just one point each. So now all of these Doombots are gone, and the civilian gets discarded. We blew this place up. Boom! <laughs> and that's that's how you end Lat the, the threat of Latveria, right? But that left him with three cards. He took damage. So if he goes back to the Baxter building, he can heal that with no problem. And now we're going to move on to Ben again. Let's take his turn. So that was pretty effective right there. Let's see what he got. He got his teamwork card. Now he can play teamwork cards and put tokens down. He's there with two Doombots, so we need to do some damage. He's got a move and a punch right now. Well, we might play his teamwork card. Let's play his teamwork card. Oh, man, i got to get rid of some stuff, though. Now, those those Doombots take two each, so that's bad. Of course, he can stay there and not take damage, so it's not the worst part in the world. Not the worst place for him. If I mean, if assuming that Dr. Doom bams. So what do we need to do? I think we need to do... Hmm, we need to get rid of some tokens. Crisis tokens. I could stay there and not move. I could use at least one. Yeah, okay. Here's what we're going to do. I got one punch. Okay, we're going to play this. You'll see why in a minute. I'm going to play that to the timeline. We're not going to actually do three. You say three punches isn't going to help there. You're right. But he's got two crisis tokens, so he's not going to move. We're going to use this move and this punch, and he's going to clear out his crisis tokens. And then we're going to use those final two punches to put a Doombot out here. Now this said, um, just to be sure, discard from behind the bottom deck to deal two damage. Oh, actually, so these guys... I'm not mistaken, they count as thugs. So the three that I killed here should be one, two, and three on our objective. Not the best place to do that. I, we gotta slow down on killing bad guys at this point. But uh, that marks the end of his turn. Um, yeah, that marks the end of his turn there. Okay, that's the thing. I forgot to draw his card again. Here it is, okay. Anyway, this that worked out fine. So we did that, we got rid of a Doombot there. That's a little helpful. We got one more. We got Reed Richards. Let's draw his card. What's he get? He got, gets that. That's good. Okay, we got a teamwork card. Oh, wait, I played a teamwork card for... No, I did not play a teamwork card for the thing. We got to get rid of these tokens. Now, he's got two... So, Reed has two punches. There's nothing for him to do with punches there. Um, um, he's not going to move either. We're going to play his, the teamwork card. We're not going to use it for the move. We're going to use the move to put a move token on here on the Fantastic Four card. We got a, now our first teamwork token. We're gonna use that move to clear one of his his uh, crisis tokens. And then we're gonna use a punch. To, wait, no, no, no. We're gonna use the two punches to clear both of his crisis tokens from the thing. Then we'll use the move to move him. Uh, we, Cause we can start working on some other things here. Actually, it's a really good spot there to save civilians. Fortunately, uh, Dr. Doom's gonna go again next. Huh, let's see. We've got to start rescuing civilians, is what we need to do. So, um, I could move back here and do this at the end of the turn, because there's an end of the turn effect, too. You may place one to That's not that useful. Um, we might want to stay, just stay here. So I, I cleared his tokens. I have a move, which is useless. I could move here and do nothing. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know. We could clear, start clearing this, and then that way we're closer to getting to the point where we can damage Dr. Doom. So we'll do that. We'll move there, and that'll be the end of his turn. Okay, that's the end of Reed Richards. Now the, the Dr. Doom gets to go. Oh my gosh, everything bams. Oh, this is devastating. Okay. Dr. Doom, he's going to move two, so he's going to move to Yancey Street. That's not so bad. Uh, you'll rue the day. bams, so one damage... He would take a damage, but he's okay, and there are no other people with Doombots, so we're fine. Um, you rule the day you ever heard the name Victor Von Doom. One hero takes one crisis token. 
Okay, well, we'll give that to uh, Sue since she's going next and she's going to do a lot to get rid of those crisis tokens. She currently has three. It's really bad. And then we're going to go... Uh, we got two civilians coming out. That's good because we need to save some civilians too. Uh, oh, 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 good. We actually have that extra slot, <laughs> thankfully. So there's two... Oh, no, they don't go there. They're going here. We have enough slots for them there. And then we got one on this side here. Ooh, we do have an overrun here. On an overrun, we're going to, let's see, we increase the Doom Track for each one we couldn't, so it's one. So the Doom Track is now at nine. He did BAM, so we're going to go up to 11. Um, there, we're, left, we're halfway done already. We haven't even been able to hit the hit Dr. Doom yet. Man, that's crazy. Okay. Whew. His turn is complete. Now we're going to go on to the Invisible Woman. we got to get rid of Crisis Tokens. we got to save civilians. Right now, he, she's got to move. She's going to stay where she's at. Um, actually, yeah. Uh, this is weird, but here's what we're going to do. She's going to play her teamwork card, which is going to... Maybe we want to play one of these. Um, you may perform one action of the type on the teamwork card, plus we're going to move. That could give her, uh, help her clear these out. We could do the same thing here. Perform actions the same type of all actions on the Fantastic Four card, which is right now a move. Then add a heroic token under the pool of the Fantastic Four and do that. We're going to do that. So we're going to get to take a heroic token and put it on their card. Now there's a move in heroic. She gets to use the move. I think we perform all those actions first. We do. So she gets to use the move. That's going to clear one crisis token for her. Then she has a heroic and a move. We're going to just use this turn, sadly, to clear all her crisis tokens. Now the only one with any is... Um, is Human Torch. But they're gone. They're completely gone. Now if we can get these filled up and done, then we're in pretty good shape. Um, I did, of course, forget to draw her card again, didn't I? Yeah, I did. But that's okay. That's what it was. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. Alright, um, we're back to the Human Torch. We're gonna draw his card. What's he got? He's got his teamwork card now. Man, I could play that and give him a whole bunch of stuff to do. He wants to use a move, though. I got both of his teamwork cards out. One's for moving, one's for heroics. <sighs> okay, let's see. This is going to give him a lot of actions if I do this, so I think we're going to play this, this teamwork card. We're getting him out now, but that's good for us, actually. We're going to play the teamwork card into the timeline. That's going to give us, let me see, uh, two heroics plus a heroic and a move from the card, plus we get to add another heroic to heroic token to the Fantastic Four teamwork card. So right now, he's got a move and a heroic, and he's got a lot. He's got one, two. So let's use the two heroics from the cards here to get rid of his crisis tokens. Now he's got a move and a heroic. So he's going to move to here. Uh, he'll take damage. Assuming we end up bamming in the spot with Doombots. I think he's worth the risk. Oh, he already took damage because he did this thing here. Uh, I can move here, and we'll rescue this civilian. Okay, done. Clears that. Well, actually, God, that's not a, that's not that useful. I think we're gonna take the risk. If he takes a bam, we can get him back to the Baxter Building and heal him up. He'll remove one from here. Much more valuable. Okay, but we still have another hero to go. It's gonna be the thing. So let's draw his new card. It is a, a, this one. Um, let's see. He's got it's clobbering time. He's got his teamwork card. <laughs> Just start getting these teamwork cards out there, man. They're, they're useful because that's going to help him a lot. He can do a lot of stuff there. We, yeah, we're going to play his teamwork card. Remember, I still have the, the Fantastic Four team's teamwork card. Perform actions of the same type as all actions on the Fantastic Four card, then add one token to the thing. Okay, so let's do that. So we got two heroics and a move. Two heroics are going to rescue two more civilians. That's great. We have a move. Not sure that we need it. Uh, we don't have any crisis tokens at the moment. Sue has a token. I forgot about that. Um, so we have this move token. What do we do with it? Um, do I move? Well, I did clear this out enough. I think we could move from there. Yeah, let, we'll move to the United Nations spot here, and he can absorb the damage from the Doom Bot. That's not a crisis. Big deal for him. So we'll move there just to get him move, everybody spread out on the board take out Dr. Doom, and then what do we have left? We have a punch. Punch, what would a punch do here? Nothing. 
Oh yeah, when adding, yeah, oh yeah, actually this isn't bad, but did Dr. Doom go here? He did, I, I gotta update this. I gotta keep track of these things more clear, carefully. When adding a Doombot to this in adjacent locations, add one extra. Well, he added a Doombot to this location, so there's actually two there. That makes this a little more risky. So with his damage, he is going to knock one out. Oh, and that then goes on our villain board. We're almost, we almost defeated enough thugs to do something there. That accounts for his punch. Now we add a punch token to the Fantastic Four teamwork card. Sorry, I'm running through this fast because I just wanted to re do a quick playthrough of the Fantastic Four, get to know him a bit, and, uh, and then get on to something bigger. So making a little, a few little errors that I'm catching, but that's okay. So Dr. Doom, of course he's good. Every card, really? Okay, well he's moving four. One, no, sorry, wrong guy. One, two, three, oh no! <laughs> he lands right there and he bams. So the thing, he'll absorb this damage. He won't take it, but Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, takes a damage. What do we do now? <gasps> this is so bad. Um, okay, I guess we will... We're going to get... No, oh, teamwork's too valuable. We're going to just get rid of one of these. We'll put it at the bottom of his deck. That's so bad. Um, so, so bad. Okay, well, um, that's that's that, but that's not it. He's going to take another damage. He's going to go down to one card. we got to get him back to the Baxter building. Luckily, we have extra moves. Okay, um, so that he moves there. He bans. He did one damage. The Doombot does a damage to Johnny as well. This is the thing I was worried about. So I think we're going to have to... Well, actually, I can get all the... No, we're going to get rid of this. No, no, no. We're going to get rid of this. Okay, that goes on the bottom of his deck. He's got one card in his hand. And he's not going to go... Well, he'll go with this next round. Um, and that's the BAM. Except for this. We're up to 13 already. we got to get this... we got to get these cards cleared. That's all there is to do it. Um, and then we're going to add one civilian in his location. Which is fine. And am I going to lose to Dr. Doom? I didn't expect that to happen. That's weird. Um, and then we're going to move, put two up here, two civilians up here. So lots of civilians to clear out on the board. And then uh, what is the rest of his cards? You all fell into my trap. Increase the Doom track by the number of crisis tokens. There aren't any. Yay. And then Inchiro gets a crisis token. So we're going to be constantly needing to clear these out now that I know how bad that is. But each one has a crisis token now, and that's going to go in the timeline. We're done there. Okay. Okay, we are back around to Reed Richards. He has got his new card. Is that? That's good. Uh, he's fully healthed up. He's in good shape. Um, he's not in a place where he can do a lot, though. Oh, it's a drag. Actually, he can. I take it back. Too bad he didn't have a teamwork. But we need to clear this. Christ, we're going to do this. Okay, so he's going to play... What is this going to give him? He's going to have a punch. He can punch into other locations. Not helpful. Okay, well... Yeah. Okay, we're going to play this. Uh, this double... Um, heroic right there. He's going to play that to the timeline. So he's got a heroic and a, two heroics and a punch. We know what we're doing with the heroics. We're going to place these on here because we need to clear these off. There's two there now. Sue can probably get there and help him with that after maybe moving some civilians. We'll see. Um, and that's going to be his turn. Uh, that's all he did. He does have a punch, but there's nothing to do with it. So, uh, yeah, actually there is. He can clear his crisis token. There we go. Okay. He is crisis token free. All right, now we're going to draw Sue's card. What has she got? Just go, oh, man. Well, we need to move. Okay, we got, we got this. Okay. Here is... Now, she only needs one of those. So she... Okay, yeah, yeah. This is good. Okay, we're going to play this this for Invisible Woman. We're going to play that. No problem. Um, this is good. I could play this and give her a bunch of movement, too, but I, I don't think that's necessary. Um, and then we, I'm saving this for when we ha we can do damage to Dr. Doom. We're going to land on him and crush him, I think. We'll see. Um, okay, so we got to move in three heroics. That's great. So... Heroic number one, she will remove her to her crisis token. Heroic number two, she's going to save the baby. Save the baby. Okay, the baby is saved. Hero um, that's two. Uh, movement, she will move here. 
and she will put her last her last token here and get rid of this. And now we have completed this one. This one's down. We're one or more closer. We only need one more to get rid of that threat. We're really doing well on that. We just got to do it quickly because we're running out of time because every card I've drawn since the first one has had a bam on it. Okay, then it says if, if at least one other hero is in this location, yes, you may gain a token. She's got a move token already. I think she's going to take a punch token. That will be good for her because when we go after Dr. Doom, which I think we're getting close to doing, then we'll be able to do that. Okay, now Human Torch is going. This is bad. He All he's got is his teamwork card. That's not a terrible thing for him. So he's going to play this, or withdraw one rather. So we'll have one left in our hand. Um, maybe he plays this, but the, no, the teamwork token is going to let him do a lot. Right now he's got a move and, and a heroic. On the card are two heroics and a move. That's two moves. That gives him one, two. That doesn't quite get him there. I need another move. Either way, I don't think he can get all the way back to there and heal. This could be bad. So, But he can go to a safer space at least. We've got to get him back to the Baxter building and heal before he gets KO'd. So these are his two cards. I think we're going to play, if we play this one, it'll give everybody an extra move when that happens. Of course, a lot of teamwork cards are out, but there are two, I think. And we've we got the, the team teamwork cards too. I think we're going to do that. That'll give, her, that'll give him two moves. Three heroics. Okay, let's do that. We're playing teamwork. So the first thing he's going to do is um, he is going to use a, one of his heroics to clear the crisis token off. That's one of three. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, one of three because he uses teamwork. Now he'll use the one from this card. Now we have two. We have three moves. Actually, this is does work out okay. One, two, three. He's back to the Baxter building. Ooh, he's going to get started healing. That's good. It's going to take him a while, but at least he'll start. Um, okay, that's all the movement from that in the card. He's got two more heroics to do, which he will use to save these civilians um, right there. Okay, that's the two heroics from the Fantastic Four card for his teamwork play. He got the heroic from Sue's card, which he used to clear his crisis token. Three moves, and he's got a punch, but the punch is not going to be useful. Well, actually, he could have, you know, he could have used the, the punch for the, the crisis token instead from the card. He'll do that, and then he'll use that third heroic instead to place the heroic token here before, because I have to clear one more crisis to clear that threat. Yeah, here before he moves. Unfortunately, this means that Dr. Doom's going again next. It's not the worst thing in the world, but he ends his turn here, which is draw a card. We're going to do that for sure. Now he's not going to die immediately. All right, there he's got two cards in his hand back now. That's good, because he ended his turn there. And only the only Ben has a crisis token, so a little safer. All right, Dr. Doom is up. Let's see what he does. Are you kidding? Oh, my. Okay, well, that's not so... Okay, one, two, he lands there. That's fine. He's going to bam. Nobody's there. He's with a Doom bot, but he's not going to take the damage because of his rock-like skin, so that's okay. And nobody else has a Doom bot. So that's the BAM, except for this. We're now up to 15. I'm going to lose from the that car, that thing right there. Few men are as subtle as Dr. Doom. Each hero chooses to either discard all action tokens, if they have any, or take a crisis token. Okay, fair, fair. So Sue's just going to discard these. I mean, they're very useful, but... Uh, I don't want to take a crisis token. And then Reed takes one. Visible Girl does not take one. Johnny takes one. And the thing takes one. Because they don't have any tokens to get rid of. But that's... Now Now let's see. What else does he do? He's going to then place a thug. Not a Doom... A, a Doom Bot in his spot. So there's now a Doom Bot here. He's going to place a thug. Just a normal thug on either side. So uh, we have an overrun. Right here, that's bad. We've got one there, and then boom, we have an overrun there. That means the crisis, to this uh, track, villain's plot track is going to go up one more. We're in trouble from that, man. I have been so unlucky on these card, the card play here. But we're going to go on to the thing. The thing has two crisis tokens. He's, he hasn't taken any damage, and this is his new card. So we got a lot of stuff. Um, we can't damage Dr. Doom yet. I need some heroics. What has he got? He's got a move. That's what he's got. Uh, I could play as wild. I could play this and and get another thing on that card. We could probably try and finish it off this turn with 
read maybe if you can get over there. We'll see. Uh, that's, that might not be the best play. I could leave somebody in uh, a wild. That might be a better play. Now we're going to play this. He's got a wild to move, so for his wild. For his wild, here's what he's going to do. He's going to put a token on this to start getting rid of it. And then for his move, he's going to clear one of the two crisis tokens he has. Now he's only got one. I mean, if that triggers, we're done. I think I need to not do this, sadly, and get rid of both of his crisis tokens. And that's his whole turn. That is awful. All right, well, we're back around to Mr. Fantastic. We're going to draw a card. I could have played the teamwork card here. I might do that. Let's see. Super genius. This this turn, you can treat all symbols as a wild. Well, that's not that helpful. We'll save that for a better time. I might play this because we got a lot of tokens we could do. We could get we can move one, two. We could move all the way to the thing and clear that card. I think that's the right way to go. Then, um, unfortunately, then Doctor Doom will go immediately again. But then we get to um, start attacking him. Well, no, we have to clear one more thing to attack him. Can I do that? Can I get this done? That's the question of the day. The super genius would allow me to clear that. I don't know. I can move. I need to move. I got two moves. I need two moves, regardless, to get to here and start working on this card with him. And we need to do it. So... I have to, I have the ability to make two moves out of this. I can do this, but then the punch, well, I could punch the Doombots there, take an extra, oh, no, I could kill the Doombot there as well, and have two moves, but that's all I do. So I think, yeah, I think we're going to play this this card here. The fan, you, you may perform one action of the same type as the actions on the Fantastic Four card, or search your teamwork, search for a teamwork card in your deck, and place it on top. We're going to actually use this. I don't know why we wouldn't. Um, and it gives him a move. So, yeah, we're going to do this one. We're going to play that to the timeline. Unfortunately, that means i got to discard something. And since he has a super genius card, well, you know, we're just going to discard this. This one's not very good. We'll put this in the bottom of his deck. All right, so we're going to get to do everything on this card, plus a move and a heroic. So, first things first, we're going to need to move him. He's going to go one, two. Okay, he's got a punch. We're going to take this Doom Bot. Okay, we got a wild. We're going to clear his crisis token off. So we now have only one left to go there. Um, okay, so we did two moves. That's this move and the move on the card. We got two heroics. I did the punch. I got two heroics left. I could clear this which would put us in crisis for one round, and then I can have somebody clear a couple, uh, just do one more damage. We can go to the Baxter building and hit that thug, and then we can start uh, attacking Dr. Doom. I think that's the plan. Okay, so we're gonna use the two heroics on the teamwork card to clear this threat off, which means this goes away, but we have completed our first mission. So these all go off. This comes off, this slides down. Now it says Dr. Doom is pressured and he he reacts now every time. Let's flip this down here. He reacts every two times instead of every three. So he's going to go right now because we went two, now we're going to go with him. Oh, come on, just a card without a, another bam. I think that may be it. No, we're going to be super close. So he's going to move one. Oh no, Johnny. <laughs> okay, he bams. Johnny takes a damage. Johnny only had two cards. He's going to discard this one punch, I guess. Yeah. Okay, he's got one card left. Um, is anybody with a Doom Bot that will take damage? No. We've been very good about that. My robots are most sophisticated. Turn all civilians in Doom's location to Doom Bot. That's just one. That's not terrible. Okay. Johnny's got to get out of there, though, now. That's it. Okay, but for the BAM. This goes up to 18. We got two left. And that's it. All right. Well, that, that wasn't... That was awful. Okay, so Sue's up next. Let's draw her card. Uh, gain Sonic Forces. Gain two... To oh, my gosh. We're definitely doing that. Um, 
Yeah, we're definitely going to play that. Okay, we're going to play this. This is going to give her a move and basically three wild actions right there because we're going to use these up quickly um, to get things done. Okay, one. She's got two, to two wild tokens. I got them all mixed up here, so there we go. And by the way, these plastic tokens, I absolutely love them. These are, here's the plastic tokens. They're so cool. All right, so she's got two of those. She put up her Sonic Force Field. She's got now three wilds and a move. What can she do with that? A lot, actually. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, three wilds and a move. Oh, I gotta draw another one of these. Family Bond, you may perform one action at the same type of as a token. Yes, so we got the Family Bond card out there. That's great. All right, now she is going to move here. Now remember, her and Johnny are going to get to go. Then he's going to go. So she's going to move here. That's great. Um, she'll end her turn there too, which is awesome. Now that is the move. Now she's got three wilds. So for one wild, she will take out this Doombot. That fills our next mission card up. So that's one of her wilds. She's got two wilds left. You know what's going to be done with those wilds. Um, they're going to be used to take out, start whittling around Dr. Doom. Okay, so this is now done. We're going to slide this down. Boom. You may now damage the villain. Okay, so with that said, she's got two more wilds. She's going to punch, punch Dr. Doom for two. And he's down from, where is he at with a four-player game? Nine to seven. And I just bounced his entire stack of damage. Okay, that's all right. We know what they are. Okay, so he's down to that. Now, um, that was Sue, so we get to go with Johnny. Johnny's going to draw a card. We're going to have to be really risky with Johnny here. Johnny's got a wild. And I think we're going to play this. Um, you may perform one action of the same type. Uh, as the tokens on the card, we got lots of stuff to do there. Um, that's gonna give because it'll give him two punches. He'll be able to hit uh, Doctor Doom twice and then move away to somewhere safer, um, and do some other stuff. Rescue some civilians. We'll get closer. He probably moved back to the Baxter Building. Well, not with the two punches. Or we can play a wild. Uh, or yeah, I think. Oh, Sue entered her turn there. So we're going to get another, these, we did use these tokens, by the way, so they're gone. So she'll just get another, let's see, uh, she's going to get another punch token in the event that circles back around to her. Here, she's got a punch token. Okay, we're going to play this, but we're not going to play it in the way that you think. We'll dump uh, this card, I guess. Mm, no, we'll dump this. We'll dump this one. Goes back in the back. He's in trouble. He's seriously hurting. Good old Johnny. He's too reckless. Okay, so now we have two punches, two heroics, and a move because of that card. And then the next one up will be, uh, oh, there's there ain't nothing we can't lo love each other through. As long as this card is face up in display, team display, each time a hero is KO'd, they may replace one action token on the Fantastic Four card with a wild. Oh my gosh, because Johnny might be, get KO'd at the end of this. We'll see how this plays out. Okay, so first off, he's got a punch and a punch. So two more damage to Dr. Doom. See, we just need to survive one more Dr. Doom card. Um, he will use one of the heroics to clear his threat. I don't want to, to clear the crisis token. I don't want that to be our, the reason we lose. And then the other heroic, he can't do anything. Yeah, he can. He can still move, so he'll move here. This is gonna, There's no other hero, so this isn't going to help him. He could move here. What does that do? Not helpful, and there's a Doombot there. Uh, so he moves there, and he's got one more heroic. He will rescue the civilian. That's going to be the end of his turn. Man, can we get this guy? I don't know. Uh, this is They're so far away. They're three away. We do have the ability to get some movement going. We'll see how this plays out. Hmm. You know what I should have done with him? It's not that. I'm going to back that up. Let's put this guy back. Put this guy back. We have to survive one more turn anyway, so we're going to not use this one, which means that cool card is not yet. Well, it will be, because we're going to use this one instead. It gives him a wild, but it doesn't give him all the other stuff. Um, and so uh, I have to put two damage back on Dr. Doom. He's still got two health, more health. We're going to play this. This is better. Family Bond, you may roll all... 
you may move all those heroes to your location. And he gets a wild, two wilds. Okay, so we can still do the two damage, he just won't be able to move. So right now he's here, he and Sue are here. This brings both of them back here. That actually changes our landscape um, a bit. He will stay there and draw a card, I think, instead. His two wilds will go back to doing a punch. I need to put a, this civilian back here. He'll do a punch on, two punches on Dr. Doom, that's it. Then he gets to do this and recover a card, uh, which is this one. And he still does have a crisis token, so hopefully that doesn't lo lose us the game, but I think this was more valuable. Um, well, he could do one, you know what? Just to play it safe, we're gonna do one damage and get rid of his crisis token. That's probably the best play. Okay, done. All right, Dr. Doom gets to go. Oh, he didn't, he didn't, bam, he's moving three though. Man, I was hoping he'd stay in the area. All right, well, that, okay, so what I just did was stupid. One, two, three, now he's back where Ben Grimm and F Mr. Fantastic actually were. It was a risk, I took it, bad move. I was hoping he wouldn't move far. Oh, and we're, we're gonna have an overrun there. And he, oh no, we just, that lost me the game. That decision just lost me the game. We have an overrun here and an overrun here. Puts the the, cry, the track up to 20. I haven't lost a game of this in a long time. Good job, Dr. Doom. I probably made some bad decisions, but I lost the game. Wow. Okay, well, there you go. I, again, I wanted to play this again just to get myself back comfortable. I haven't played Marvel United in a little while. My, my friends, fam, my family and I, we went through a blitz with this. We played the crud out of it, so we got a little burned out. But I got all this new content, so we're probably going to revisit it some more again. However, that's where we're at. So the doc, so the Fantastic Four suffers a defeat at the hands of Doctor Doom, and they limp off, and that's going to demoralize them for the next thing that they have to do, which is even tougher. So we'll see how this plays out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed this quick little Marvel United playthrough with the Fantastic Four, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.